Have you ever seen a black sunrise, viewed a new moon as it wears the sun's crown, or beheld a black hole as it swallows starlight? Cause I have. Many times before, while watching Obsidian Baller score on hardwood floor, this sport, this league would not be at its current peak were it not for the black mountaineers who drug it to the top. Each one a sun who rose the way a rose grows from concrete, leaving bedrock broke and pavement cracked. As a matter of fact, they gave a whole new meaning to black don't crack. Cause even as crack was pumped in the black neighborhood, these athletes pump faked and dribbled their way to the pros and even though there were woes from those who fell victim to coke I thank the most high cause most chose to float from a better high so they could say bye to the ground you can tell they were born heirs from how they were airborne kings they be and stars they are but respected they are not a lot who watch often taunt ballers like they forgot how to speak to humans as they ought Folks talk down to black athletes as if they're dumb jocks, as if they need degrees to be well taught, as if while training their bodies they pay no mind to their minds and let their brains rot. Players are told to shut up and dribble for simply sharing a thought on how their lives should matter no matter the pigment they've got. Imagine having to play off fan hate in the playoffs, or facing unfair rulings both on court and in court, or making legal steals and shots yet still being treated as thugs, or devoting mind, body, and bank to folks who show you no love, fans and stands getting out of bound pass to eject foul lines of racial kind time after time. But this ain't nothing new. Today's race-based hate is a taste of what the legends of old grew accustomed to. They had careers stifled by stigma, yet still they grew, and skin burdened by slurs, yet still they flew. Having faith that over time, maybe by the second or third overtime, their game could flip the public's image of them from shooting dice on street corners to shooting corner threes, from breaking kneecaps to breaking ankles, from laying up on blocks to blocking layups, from cutting backdoor deals to making backdoor cuts, from catching bodies in alleys to catching alley-oops, from drive-by shootings to driving by defenders, from right hooks and gunshots to sky hooks and jump shots, from wanted posters to posted dunks, from hanging on a noose to being a hang time nuisance. Truth is, although Though there's more work to be done, their efforts were not made in vain, for the game they played changed the stage for today's NBA, paved the way for modern kings in this league to succeed. We've seen the trees, leaves, rustle and wilt in early seasons, been touched by lotion as smooth as cocoa butter cream, witnessed miracles happen through the magic of showtime basketball, we watched a bull become a goat, six foot six going six foot six, like Wakanda will forever remember the black mamba. We've seen a king leap to the throne by the strength of his calves, and can we keep it a buck and be honest about today's era, cause it seems to me like it belongs to the Greek freak, but whatever the case may be, I think we can all agree that in every era, we watch a sun rise, one who shines like the blackest dawn for the world to see, for as one NBA player put it, black kings built the league. He gets a pass, grabs it and dumps it through, 100 points for Luke Chamberlain, the most amazing one-man show in basketball history. The uh, leadership has to come from you, Bill, and to bring a team from fourth place during the regular season to the world's title, the 11th title in 13 years, you've got the respect of everybody in the country. Ford sends it to Kareem. Sky hook up and good. Lakers win. Score it. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has given the Los Angeles Lakers a victory. Shoot at five seconds left. Magic down the middle, just what I thought. A hook shot at 12. Good! to Jordan. Jordan to the circle, puts the shot in the air. Good! The game's over, and the Bulls have won. Here is Vince Carter with his first shot.
Defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Steph is running into the front court. Draymond <laughs> finds him another three. Oh. Got it! 62! <laughs> 62! Um, we just want our respect. Rob wants his respect. Coach Vogel wants his respect. Our organization want their respect. Laker Nation want their respect. And I want my damn respect, too. <laughs>